Good afternoon, viewers. Today we are putting a larger gear on the Rat Rod Wagon, as well as doing some racing around the property. What do you think, Isaac? Oh, sounds wonderful. Oh, man. I... <laughs> oh, man, that thing is awesome. <laughs> We're gonna fill in some holes. One of those is going to go on this rear shaft here, so uh, so we can actually ride it, so it'll actually accelerate. And we got this metal here, we can make a little guard so our butts don't get chewed up cool. by the sprocket. Sounds good. Well, we can either uh, just put this up there and weld it up and try it out, or we can go to work and try to turn it down and make a real nice fitment. And while we're there, we can press, press that, that off. off so we can have either one here Let's go to work and turn it down. Then we're going to have to crank this thing up and we're going to have to take that wheel off. We're going to have to polish up the shaft. the shaft to try to get that other gear off. Let's see if that collar fits. Ha ha! <laughs> Sweet! It's a one inch shaft. Awesome. So, we uh, got us a lathe. Yes, sir. So, we're going to turn the end of that thing down so this sprocket fits nicely on the end of it. We've been just welding sprockets onto the end of these uh, collars that we've been picking up at Agri Supply or Tractor Supply. Um, they're used for uh, making your own sprockets. They provide uh, sprockets with the right size hole in the center to fit on that. Um, but uh, we're not getting their sprockets. We're getting our own. So. Um, I just need to turn this thing down to to fit that sprocket and and I don't I don't have a lathe or anything but at work I do have a brake lathe uh, which is used for turning rotors and drums and uh, <laughs> to my surprise it fits the shaft perfectly so so I should be able to turn that thing down to uh, fit the uh, sprocket so that's what we're going for. Sounds yeah, good. Buddy. And I'm going to be using the, uh, the press to get this sprocket off. So we can have a choice of which sprockets we want to use. I just put all these to hold it in place and hold it still. Now I've got to work out how to set this up to cut on that. Pretty neat. Yeah. Why didn't we think of this earlier? I really want that, that flat bar, yeah, or that flat side, mm -hmm. to be perfectly straight. So when it cuts, oh, and yeah, it'll make a nice uh, ninety. Yeah. yeah. I know this is not the correct way to do this, but this is this is all we got right now. So good disclaimer. Don't judge. It's not supposed to be used for anything other than brakes and rotors. I'm sure. I'm sure the manufacturer would would will tell you that but uh i just eyeballed it and cool there we go fell through and uh i can't believe it but it fits like it was meant to be i mean no slop i mean it's perfect yeah feel it perfect for welding for yeah. eye that's eyeballing dude yeah it's actually like it was meant to be any tighter and it'd be a, a pain to get on there. Yeah, Any to. looser and it, yeah, I mean, it's it's perfect. I love it. We think we found a way to remove the sprocket, but it requires removing each pillow block before we actually remove the sprocket. So slow and steady wins the race, right? Got a lot of weight on it. Holy it crap. Goes. Go ahead, keep going. Right here. It's moving. Yeah, it is. In case y'all didn't know, uh, our Briggs engine turned out to be a, a bit on the wore total, out side. Yeah, total garbage. It was supposed to be a uh, good running <laughs> five horsepower Briggs. Thanks to my brother uh, who gave me the engine, uh, he was told that the engine was good. But anyhow, it'll be fine. We're gonna make do with it. Uh, it actually, I think it adds more character to it. We are trying to get this uh, sprocket off right here. And uh, we're here and we run the cart and uh, take the wheel off and just kind of loosen it and see if that somehow worked, but it, it hasn't so far. So we're now going to polish that shaft with sandpaper while Ike gets on the throttle. Wait, 
you doing there, buddy? Well, I'm uh, getting things sorted out. Okay. You reckon I can drill, do what I just did on this thing and put some divots in it so it'll hold or it might be know. changed again. True, yeah, because I mean, that's gonna be very close to our bottoms. It's a big sprocket, buddy. Yeah, tractor puller. Tractor puller, hey, hopefully. Man, it's a good thing we didn't get the other one because the other one's bigger. Yeah, hopefully it won't uh, destroy us when we sit on it. Do a little she, test run. She's gonna be close. Oh. Just don't turn too hard there. Well, the chain on it uh, covers those teeth. Uh, we are gonna build a guard. We got the old guard that we can actually trim up, but for testing purposes. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just don't do this at home, people. Yep. Well, I got the chain on. So yeah. other than uh, this here tire, we are good to go. I got some starting fluid. So he's gonna spray Ooh, a little bit gracious. in there. Fire in the hole. Woo! Oh! Woo! That was cool. really cool. <laughs> Sweet! Let's give it a shot. Got some sandpaper there. Nice. Your butt's on the sprocket. What? Your butt's on the sprocket. Yeah, I know. You done? Yeah, you want to give it a shot? Yeah! Okay. Let's uh, look the battery too. Yeah. I don't see any problem with this, especially if we get the guard. Oh yeah, guard, it'll be perfect. perfect. Dude, it's uh it's really taking form. I mean the biggest problem I see is that like there's absolutely no weight on the front wheels. Um I think this Briggs is actually lighter than the Predator. Really? Yeah, got mud on. yeah every time, dude. You got it on your uh, your collar and okay. shoulder there. It's pretty daggum cool, though. Uh, all we got to do now is cut off the... Uh, the old stuff. The old stuff. Brakes, steering wheel, throttle, real throttle anyway. Um, cut that stuff off. Guard for the sprocket. Maybe a little bit of a seat for some support. We can actually move the, the sprocket and everything out more towards the tire. Okay. Give us more room. Uh, I didn't want to go out too far because um, it's a, the further out you go, the more strain it is on the transmission. Yeah. Or the gearbox or whatever. The magic box. The, the magic box. Gotta call it the magic box. Well, let's, uh, let's show the fine people what we just did. We made a little bit of a chain guard so we don't destroy our pants and our butts our while same, we're riding. The same chain guard we were using uh, before. Before. Yep. 
Uh, it's not the prettiest, but it'll do for right now because we're gonna have a little bit of a race, right? Hopefully we got enough gas, I bet we don't. I'm hurting. Why? Throttle the right hand, steering left hand. <laughs> and you're freezing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing. <laughs> I softened you up so I can beat you. All right, well, I'm going to give you the timer, Ike. Uh, I'm going to take off and then flying start, right? Holy crap. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of keeping the wheel on. Yeah, but we got that much stud hanging out. It'll be fun. Okay. All right, ready? Go. So the camera died that was on my head, uh, so it'll be fine. I ran a 54-1, so now it's Ike's turn. We're gonna see what he can do. Hopefully the uh, DSLR is still going. Probably not because it was also on low battery. On your mark, get set, go! I'm gonna be the cameraman for the whole time. Come on, buddy! How's he doing? Holy cow, my phone died too. That is, uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, he's cooking it. He's cooking it. Yay! <laughs> How do you think you did? 52? Well, I have no idea because my phone died. <laughs> so this camera died. That camera died, my phone died. And the yards tore up, so we're done. <laughs> Moral of the story is, keep your stuff charged. Don't be in a rush. Make sure your yard is dry if you're gonna go-kart. Jeez. Uh, so I guess technically you won. Well, no, I can check on this thing. Oh, it'll be an unveiling. That's right. Sweet. <laughs> so, um. Let's wrap this video up because it's freezing cold, everything's dead. 
Even the GoPro's on low battery. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, buddy? Uh, pretty good. Um, there's a couple of things. Uh, didn't line up the sprockets right. When you roll it backwards, it wants to throw a chain. Okay. Forward, it's fine. Yeah. And I looked, and and it, we we didn't get it just right. So, um, we didn't lube the chain. The True. chain's <laughs> bunching up. Yeah. Uh, so it, it needs to be lubed. Um. Uh. Need to lop off. The end of that. Uh, the end of that to make it look better. Um, yeah, we need gas pedal, gas brake pedal, brake pedal, um, um, seating maybe for a little more support, and steering wheel. And a steering wheel. So we're probably going to be working on the 670 go kart next. We got some smaller sprockets in from Go Power Sports for that, um, but we are still going to be working on this and also build off. The build off is actually happening right now. We just haven't all been here to do an intro for that. So the build off is uh, it's on the way. So. Be patient. It'll be fine. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing our best here. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Cars Amino at Cars and Cameras. Uh, go check out our website. Buy yourself a t-shirt. www.cars-cameras.com um, Let us know what you think of the build. What else it needs. No, unfortunately, we're not going to put a V-twin on it because it, it would just be way too unsafe. Uh, it might fit, but it would be unsafe. It would be way too much power for that old gearbox to handle. What do we think? We what think... And, uh, yeah, it just probably wouldn't happen, so sorry about that. Um, maybe, maybe for another build, who knows. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next one. All right. Good.